Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and today I want to go over some ways we can use technology to do the statistics that we're working on in Chapter 6. I'm going to give you three different ways to do this. One way is on a graphing calculator, another is in Excel, and the last way will be inside of Desmos. Keep in mind that when you are working in a testing center, they're going to let you use a calculator, but they will not let you use a computer or a phone. So just keep that in mind. Normally on the exams, I don't really require you to have the technology, but you will need it on the homework. So what you see in front of you is a set of data. This is a sample, and this sample are GPAs. And what I need to do is to be able to put that information into my technology and then go ahead, find mean, median, mode, and standard deviation. So let me start with the calculator. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on my calculator. And the way that I put in statistics is I go to the stat button and then select edit. Now I've got some numbers already in my list one. So I'm going to go to the very top, select clear, and they say enter. That will clear out the data that's in there. And now I need to go and put all of the data in the table that you see here into the calculator. The way you do this is you enter the data value and then press the enter button. Now that I've got my data in, I can go ahead and find the commands to compute the statistics that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and say second quit to take myself back to the home screen and then second stat which is the list menu and I'm going to go over to where it says math. Scroll down to number three, hit enter. So it's now going to compute the mean but what it needs to know is what's the name of the list and I can find that under the one key here so second one is list one in my parentheses and compute enter. So the mean for this is 2.8875. We want to make sure that when we use other types of technology, we get the exact same answers. Now, you might have noticed when we were in that list menu, so second, stat, use the arrow keys to go over to math, there was also median there. So let's go ahead, select enter to paste it to the home screen. Second one, we'll put that list one in there, enter, and we get our median. So the median is 2.8. These are both measures of what's in the center of our distribution of data. Now here's the bad news. If we go back to second stat and math, if you scroll through that menu, you won't see mode anywhere in there. So to be able to do the mode, we're going to try something differently. What's really handy to find the mode is for us to be able to see the data uh, in order. So I'm going to go over to Ops, that was under the second stat, and I'm going to select Sort A, that means Sort Ascending. Put in the name of my list by typing Second One, press Enter. So it's now sorted the list, so if I go to Stat Edit, what you're going to notice is that everything is in order now. This makes it a lot easier for me to see what the most frequently occurring data is, which is what the mode is. So if I scroll down through this, you'll see there's two 2.6s, two 2.8s, and everything else in the list appears once. So that tells me this is bimodal data, so my mode is 2.6 and also 2.8. Those are the most frequently occurring data points. Let me second quit and find out how to get my standard deviation. So again, I'm going to say second list, go over to math, 
scroll down to where you see STD DEV, that is the sample standard deviation, press enter, and then say second one parentheses. And so it says our standard deviation here, S, is going to be 0.578, let's say 4. We'll go to four decimal places. Some of you who have a little bit of experience may know that you can also get some of this information by hitting the stat, going over to calc, and selecting one ver stats. When I do that, I need to tell it the name of the list, so second one, press enter, and it goes ahead and computes the mean, that's the X bar. It does some other things here. These are all uh, summing up the X values, summing up the squares, things like that. If you keep scrolling down though, you'll also see that it has SX, and that's our sample standard deviation. So we've got all the numbers that we need to calculate for chapter six. So now let's turn around, do the exact same thing, but this time let's go ahead and use Excel. So I've got an Excel spreadsheet. I've entered in the numbers here. And the way you do that is you just click on the cell, type the number, and then press the enter key. So I've already done that here to save us a little bit of time. So what I need is I need the mean, I need the median, I need the mode, and I need the standard deviation. I'm going to calculate those four things and I'm going to show you how to do this using the commands that are built into Excel. So I'm going to go over to this cell D2. Anytime I want it to compute something, I have to press equals, and the command for getting the mean is A-V-E-R-A-G-E, -E, average. Press the parentheses, and now I need to tell it where the data is. So I'm going to click on the first cell. I'm going to hold my left mouse button down and drag. So what it puts into there is it says average of the cells from A1 to A16, and my parentheses, press enter, and the number I get is exactly what I got for the sample mean for when I did it on the graphing calculator. If I want to do median, type equals. If I just do MED, you can see it starts, it recognizes the command there. I can always click on that to get it to complete the command. And then I select A1, holding down my mouse button, I dragged A16, and the parentheses, press enter, and I get the median of the data. Same thing for mode, press equals, M-O-D-E. It gives us a couple different possibilities here, but we're going to choose the one down here that says mode. And then I will select A1, drag my mouse down to A16 press the parentheses, enter. Now, here's a little bit of a problem. Remember when we did the mode on the graphing calculator and we sorted things, we saw this, there were actually two modes here. What this does is it finds the first mode, not the other mode. Now, I can kind of compensate for that. If I go and select the data values like I had before, and then go up to where it says sort, and I'm going to have this sort these data values from smallest to largest. And I say, OK, it puts them in order just like we had before. And then we can observe that, oh, there's two 2.6s, but there's also 2.8. Finally, if we want to do the standard deviation, we start with equals. I'm going to say ST. And as soon as I do that, it's going to start pulling up possible commands. There's two that you could use here. You could do STDEV period S. That's the sample standard deviation. Or I could do STDEV. That's also the sample standard deviation. If you want to do it for a population, you'd use the one that has P on the end or down here. 
So I'm going to choose this one. Now I'm going to go ahead, select and drag. Press the parentheses, enter. And the number that I get there, the 0.58 or 0.5784, if I'm rounding to four decimal places, is the exact same number that I got before. So this is another option if you don't have a graphing calculator. Now let's take a look at trying this in Desmos. So in Desmos, right, you're going to go to desmos.com and you'll press start graphing. And I'm going to go ahead, here's the way the data would look if you put it in. But the way you do that is you go over here, press the plus, and then hit table. That will create the table that you see here. Then you can click in the first entry, type in the number, then use a down arrow, type in the number, down arrow, type in the number, until you get all of the different numbers in. So I, it, I've stored these data values in X sub 1. Let me scroll down a little bit and show you how to find the mean. So to find the mean, we need to find the proper command. Go over to where it says functions. And if you don't see this bunch, uh, this menu here, you can hide it and unhide it. So functions, go over to stats, and there's the mean button. So it says I want to find the mean, but it doesn't know where the data is. Remember, it was in x sub 1, so I'm going to type x. I can get the underscore by typing a shift underscore. That's a shift dash on my keyboard. Press 1, and there it returns the mean of the data. If I go down, functions, median, type x underscore 1 there's the median. Go down one more, look at my stats function, and if you look carefully, you'll see there isn't one for mode. So for Desmos, you're just going to have to look at the data, figure out the ones that are most frequently occurring. But there is a standard deviation, and a standard deviation's P. The P one would be the population. Just plain old STDEV is the standard deviation, which tells us the spread in the data. Type x underscore 1, and there's the number for the standard deviation. And that those three numbers are exactly the same as we got using Excel or using the graphing calculator.